843, 100.3 WNLX with the Ed and Bob Show from Knoxville. We have a traffic accident reporter for one of our spotters out on the streets. This is a two-car accident. It's at Broadway and Mineral Springs Road in North Knoxville. There's, uh, it looks like a rollover accident, and they're saying it's probably uh, personal injuries there, so make way for emergency vehicles heading toward that area. Well, Bob, we've got those special guests in the studio with us this morning, don't we? We, we do have more special guests. Coming up for you now this weekend, this Friday, and then uh, matinee on Sunday, it's the girl of the Golden West for the Knoxville Opera. Yeah. Next I'm sorry. Friday. Oh, oh, next Friday. Why is it? You're right. I'm nor. I'm used Don't to make, you. You're making me very nervous. I'm used to you guys <laughs> usually being and in I need here more time. right before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, Michael Toronto is in here with us, who uh, is with the uh, Knoxville Opera. You're right. Today is Thursday, so it's a, a week from tomorrow. Uh, and, and Michael, good morning. Glad to good have you on the show. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Tell me who you got with us here, Michael. We have Anthony. Let me see if I can say this right. Latura. Just like a sneeze. Just like a sneeze. That's the way we from do it. From Italy. Well, actually, from New York. But, <laughs> yeah, See, he uh, sounds like a New Yorker. He does. Wait, does. Give, give me a break. Whoa, it's very early, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not for us. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you chose this life. What do you... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now, Anthony is not only the you're the director of, the of, director. of, this, of this performance. Somebody, they got to blame somebody for everything. <laughs> Somebody's oh, going to get up the I would fall. love to see the rehearsals because, Anthony, you're pretty animated. You know what you I mean? You think I am? Yeah, I think yeah. you are. I think it's a sickness. <laughs> you should see him in rehearsals, actually. I think he's a stand-up comic. <laughs> no, I've always wanted to do stand-up sitting down. No, I, I got a problem with my knees. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I was very tall once, but I had an operation. But let's not talk about that. Let's, let's talk about the opera. What do you think? Now, here's the line on this thing. It says, poker, pistols, and puccini. <laughs> puccini. Puccini. That's, that's almost good. <laughs> there I mean, you go. Really is. <laughs> what can I say? Yes, it's all of well, that. I've Plus, been horses. doing this for a few years. So. <laughs> Plus horses. Horses. Horse? Oh, li horses live. Who knows what well, may happen uh, after that? Uh, well, so now tell us about it. Because when I think of going to the opera, I see women with their 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 breasts heaving under these dresses. And, and, we have and, that. And, okay. Oh, and we then, got the heaving. And they're talking in, in, in Italian, and I don't understand, <laughs> but I have to look at the too? words over the stage. Well, this what is this Western thing? Puccini decided to write an opera about a David Belasco play, which was about the uh, uh, California gold rush. Okay. And these are really miners, but miners that happen to look like cowboys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the interesting thing is, and you'll see, we all thought, you know, the last time on, in, on, at the Tennessee theater, there was Tom Mix was the last time who brought his horse because <laughs> yeah. he never left home without him. And, yeah. uh, um, <laughs> but here, Puccini lets us know that we have, uh, we have uh, a cowboy, well, miners who have mothers, first of all, and they cry. Oh. You see? Because Italian people well, cry, opera, huh? yell and scream, cry, and then they go, Eat and or make love. <laughs> or at the same time. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the same man. time. It all works out. Oh, oh, by does. the way, these were minors that are not underage. These are gold <laughs> yes. miners. Oh, oh these are gold. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> they, they're searching. They, these guys have gold nuggets. They, they've... they've <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> no, let him finish. Wait, I'm, I'm out of this. <laughs> I, was waiting this for, I was waiting for a laugh. Uh, oh, yeah. Jesus. You got the I shock. I mean, excuse me. No, you, that's all right. You got the shock face. I got to take my coat off. I, <laughs> I know they were waiting. And look at it. It's getting hot in here now. Yeah, oh, I'm, my I got to take my jacket let the, off. Let the little the gold, the gold nuggets, man. <laughs> gold nuggets. The guy's sweating. got gold nuggets, and she puts all of them in a barrel. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It's, it's, a, it's a spectacular opera, and it's... Uh, uh, come on, it's uh, old-time cowboy-ish style because, uh, let's face it, it was written 1910, 1909, premiered at the Metropolitan Opera with Enrico Caruso, and uh, so it's, it's not as stylized as we would have it directed, but it, I think, and I'm hoping that I tried to direct it uh, very... Uh, as a cinema, so that you could look from one section to the other, that it was clean enough to watch, that you understood it without understanding the words, mm -hmm. but you knew what was going on. So mm -hmm. I, I, I'm hoping for the best, except I haven't really directed the horses because, <clears throat> un unlike uh, singers, uh, the horses have a mind of their own. <laughs> so do you already have the horses, or are they just... Oh, I met the horses. Oh, you met the horses. All three absolutely dislike me tremendously. <laughs> <laughs> we tried, tried to get him up on the horses, actually, the other day during rehearsal. It's an absolute no, 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 no. No, it's not going to work. Uh, not gonna work. <laughs> but they're going to be in the studio tonight, actually. Oh, yes, really? they are. Tonight yeah. for rehearsal. Oh. First time on the stage, so to speak. Yes. Oh, okay. And once studio. again, it's the, the girl of the Golden West. Performances a week from Friday. Yes. 
February 8th, February 10th. This is the perfect thing. Guys, it is Valentine's Day. Well, it not only... Take them, uh, take take your loved one to to the Tennessee Theater and see this wonderful performance uh, directed by Anthony here. Yes, Anthony, I'm, I'm going to call you Tony just now because now we're, I feel close to you. You do. And <laughs> are you from New Jersey? No, because but I'm. <laughs> working. If I introduce myself as Anthony, they call me Tony. If I introduce myself as Tony, they call me T. Anthony. <laughs> oh, T. Do I look like Tony Soprano to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I see you, you boy, Anthony. I'm very impressed by all the credits and everything you've done everything and been involved with oh this for gosh, a long long sure time has. and uh this is I, this is going to be a great performance you got a great cast oh uh, excellent cast so truly how have rehearsals been going very good uh, so uh, and then you move in the tennessee theater tonight you're saying you, you're actually in the tennessee we'll theater. actually be in our studio oh in the, the studio the studio offices uh, we move into the tennessee theater on uh, i think it's monday when mm -hmm. we start tech rehearsals yes and whatnot. All right, so. yeah, we have a we have a large enough space the space is as large as the stage yeah we uh, yeah i've seen it there, back there yeah you've been there so you yeah, absolutely you know that there's enough space in case the horses get excited to be in easy access. <laughs> mm, what? And yeah, give up exactly. show business? Well, now, Ed knows how to clean up after horses. He's oh, been really? doing it for a long, long That's time. Right. That's right, Ed. Oh, you do you have horses, oh, don't Here you? we go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, okay. I don't keep them during the winter time. <laughs> <laughs> he and sends them south. Yeah. 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 I'll south send them third? someplace else in the winter. Anthony, right. I want you to try this. So if you say this like to a horse, go, haw. Haw, haw, haw. They'll you turn know, left. Every one of them will right. turn left. And if you say ye, they'll ye. turn right. They go right. Haw, ye. Yeah. You'll be, haw, you'll, ye. you'll impress haw. these horses you know, today. You're, you're confusing like, uh, them. Uh, haw, <laughs> ye. <laughs> is that too early for stuff like this? It's not ye, haw. No, no. Okay. Oh, Hall is turn left. Ye, you're from Texas, Michael. Well, you yeah, should know that. Hall talk, means turn left, ye turns <laughs> right. So <laughs> practice that on the horses tonight. At Real Horses on the stage, Tennessee Theater performances eight o'clock next uh, Friday night, the eighth, and February tenth at two thirty. Again, this is the perfect Valentine's Day gift. Get your tickets for this performance. Gunfights and whiskey and poker on the stage. And that's only with the audience. Horses. Oh no! It's oh yeah. That's what that's about the, what about the gold nuggets? Yeah, that's that's the way. Exactly. That's gold what we're nuggets. For. Golden nuggets. <laughs> Come to the Tennessee Theater, ladies and gentlemen. See gold nuggets, <laughs> cards, whiskey, women. Well, one woman. One woman. <laughs> well, that's this too. Very popular one woman. I have to say, you know. Come on, let's face it. <laughs> Never been kissed. Be the first time she's kissed. She's kissed in this performance. And, and we. And Puccini tells you all about that. It's a fantastic. All right, we got we got to take a break. We'll come right back. It's the Ed Bob Show at eight fifty one from one hundred point three WNOX. Sing it, Ed. Go ahead. Your home for Fox News Radio one hundred point three WNOX. Three WNOX uh, 853. Mike, I'm assuming this is from the the girl. Yeah, it's uh, Renata Tavaldi, actually. Sounds just like our soprano. And who is your soprano on this show? We've got Carter, uh, Carter Scott. Scott. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and she's from North Carolina, I see. So, this is going to be an exciting show. I look forward to going a week from Friday, and then uh, the following this matinee on Sunday at 2:30. And tickets on sale, Michael. Tickets are on sale right now at KnoxvilleOpera.com or 524-0795. And, and, Ed, I will give you a pair of tickets if you bring your horse and ride up to the Tennessee Theater. <laughs> Y'all no. no, we'll don't. It will take more than two tickets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two and a half? <laughs> bring, bring, bring it on. A vat of sweet, <laughs> a vat of sweet and iced tea? Ah, <laughs> oh, there you there. go. I'll have that for How you. How did you know about the ice <laughs> tea? I just took a wild guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did well. Had it written yeah. all over his face. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a Hispanic birdie that told me something. <laughs> the, uh, where's, that uh, bird? Uh, where's that bird? <laughs> yeah. So can we give away a pair of tickets? Of course we can. Okay. So we that, can. Uh, uh, Shine's out there. We'll give away the, to the 10th caller, 865-243-8255, a pair of tickets to go to either Friday or Sunday's performance. Absolutely. They make the, a choice. The girl of the Golden West. Do that right now. Now, do, do you wear your cowboy hat to this event? Now, that's something different that we've not ever done, to my uh -huh. knowledge, at least, with Knoxville Opera, is that we are actually encouraging, because the theme there of it being go. Western, we're encouraging mm -hmm. the audience to dress up cowboy. 
I think that's and, great. And to wear, wear the wear finest your, Western wear. Wear your Levi's. What? Wear your blue jeans. Wear your cowboy boots. Or Rustlers or, or whatever it is that you've got. We're just not encouraging the naked cowboy from Manhattan. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. I've seen Unless you, you have a naked cowboy here. No, no. No. It's got to be somewhere. Yeah, but the Wells Fargo stagecoach is going to be out front. Now, that's another neat thing is that the Wells Fargo, the company itself, is a very integral part of the storyline mm-hmm. in this opera. And they just happen to be, Wells Fargo advisors happen to be sponsoring this particular opera production, and they're bringing the stagecoach. So we'll have the stagecoach out in front of the theater for photo ops and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And most of the cast, if not all of the cast, and even Anthony is going to wear boots, I understand, to this thing. I just have to go buy a pair. Yeah, he's got to get some. Oh. And we're going to be having pictures. You can take your pictures out in the lobby with uh, with cast members in their in their full their full get up. Yeah, yeah. And some dressed like horses. I want to get my hat back out. So. Put it up for the winter. Huh? Now, yeah. now, Anthony, you, you're a, a performer as well, but not in this performance. You, you were no, a tenor for years, right? For a long time, 27 years at the Metropolitan Opera. I did the role of the bartender in this opera, Nick. It's an absolutely incredibly integral part. So this is something near and dear to your heart. <laughs> this profession. <laughs> well, I never one. really liked opera, but I had to do something for a living. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was that or be the naked cowboy at Times Square. That? Well, and in those days, you, you know, nobody took their clothes off in public. <laughs> <laughs> well, most people didn't. <laughs> I was a pioneer, you know. You were, you were. But those four years in jail, I don't really want to talk about. <laughs> now, this is the director, Anthony's, folks. You can imagine what the play, what it's going, the uh, opera is going to come out to be. So it should be a lot of fun. Funny, funny, oh yeah, well, that's going to be great. All right, so you like Knoxville so far? Is this your I first do. time? I, it's my first time in Knoxville, and it's really nice. And they, so they've taken you out for sweet tea and ice cream and all that stuff? Yeah, it's all fried, though, I noticed. I, I've never had fried sweet tea before. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> if you, we'll fry anything That's here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's been really great. Everybody's been so wonderful and kind. And They'll change. Yes. I, I'm sure if I decided to live here, you know, <laughs> no, no, they, they wouldn't change. change. No, I don't think they no, would. They won't change. No, no, it's so. a great place, and uh, well, that's why we're lucky to have people like uh, Michael uh, right here in our town, too, uh, too uh, helping the Knoxville too Opera. Kind. Our uh, opera ticket winner, Richard. Congratulations oh, to Richard. Richard got congratulations to you. As soon as we find out what performance he wants uh, to go to, either the Friday night at 8 or the Sunday matinee at, at 2.30. 30. I'll only be at the Friday. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, he's really, really going to go home he's, Saturday. He's really going to go. Really? I have to go home. Uh, uh, who directs it on Sunday? Oh, it's already, I'm going to do that on it's Sunday. A, it's automatic pilot. <laughs> See, once once it goes up and it's the dress rehearsal, after the dress rehearsal, it's nothing not, else to do. There's nothing else to do. Yeah. Well, there is. I <clears throat> go to the bar, but <laughs> the singers have to stay on the damn stage. <laughs> so they left. How was the opera? I, think, I don't know. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to New York. I went back to New York. And there just happens to be a bar on the stage, actually, in yeah. the yeah. performance. But well. horses Maybe. on stage, Horse real sight. horses. This is not some costume with men in it or a Something. This is no. three horses. horses. These are the real deal. And yeah. they come to curtain call. So yes. stay around for curtain call. Absolutely. Stay around for the curtain call. All right, guys. Sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, Anthony, you. good luck to you and we look forward to the performance. Please. And um, next time you're going to speak up a little more and not be so reserved. <laughs> well, next time I'll come back, we'll talk about Boardwalk Empire. That's right. Look at their faces. They don't know. No. I'm a major star oh my God, on HBO's. Right. Are you on that? Yes. yes. What hey. part? I play Eddie Kessler, the German. Well, see, none of us can afford uh, those uh, premium channels. <laughs> <laughs> Show one of the horses and get HBO. That's what I say. Gee whiz. Anthony, thanks so much. I hope you enjoy your stay tonight. I'm having a great time. I'm going back to bed now. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can't. <laughs> All right, Michael, we look Michael, forward to it. Uh, to get your tickets you. now again at uh, knoxwellopera.com. Or 524-0795. All right, we're headed to the 9 o'clock hour. The Ed and Bob Show show continues. We'll take more of your calls, your text messages all coming your way. Fox News is next. Tanya standing by and more on our weather as well. Stay with us. Your Fox News Radio source 100.3 WNOX.